Those of you who were there in 1990, yes. are you feeling like, like I'm feeling? Yes. Has the hour come again? Yes. <laughs> Amen. Remember, remember this, in Proverbs 28, 6, it's proclaimed as follows, better a poor and just man than a rich and wicked one. That is the choice you will have to make in days to come. Yes. Do you know the answer? Yes. You know what you'll do? Yes. I've got a pretty good idea what you're going to do. <laughs> pretty inappropriate message for a church service. You can see by the man shaking his head violently in disapproval. Well, uh, yeah, that's what happened. We'll give you this and more. When the episode starts, I'm here to urge you guys to subscribe if you've not subscribed. Uh, many who view the channel have not subscribed yet. And uh, if you have not shared this yet, please do. It's very encouraging. See you on the other side. Catch Amazing Minds Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, 20 hours Central African time on YouTube, Google, Apple, and Spotify for podcasters. Zambia's first late night show. Welcome to Amazing Minds, Zambia's first late night show. This is the Monday show. Mondays are for political discussions. Wednesdays are the educative segment of the show. And Fridays are Bible Talks. We're doing a, per we're doing a personality of God series on Bible Talks. Uh, been an interesting one even for me. I hope you guys are following that one if you are into the Bible and all. If you're not, then please receive Jesus and be into the Bible. Yeah, I'm here with Mr. Chofaya for our Monday show. Himself. How are you doing, sir? I'm good, sir. How are you doing? I'm a blessed guy. I'm a blessed guy. Ah, okay. Yes. I heard it was your birthday just last week. On Friday? Friday, yes. It ah, was okay. my birthday on Friday. I'm getting older. This is... Mm. What uh, did you do for a bit? Uh, <laughs> you know, same old, same old. Cakes and whatnot. Yeah. Ah, okay. <laughs> How have you been? That's good. I've been good. Okay. How does the new age feel? Feels great, actually. I feel wiser. Oh, you do? I do. <laughs> what do they say? That's new, uh, new, you're older, you're wiser. That's the way it's supposed to be. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's usually a new year that they say new year, new me. But this one is you're older, you're wiser. Oh, yeah. Although it's not the case with everyone, but that's the way it's supposed to be. Yeah. yeah. What do you guys think? Those of you viewing this from wherever you're viewing it, 
Do I look wiser? Do I look older than last week's episode? <laughs> Let me know in the comments. <laughs> By the way, please do like the video uh, so the algorithm can pick up the show and whatnot. Guys, let's get this ball rolling. We have some good stuff for you uh, now that I'm older. Yeah, now that it's older, you can see that now he's wearing ties on the show. Exactly. So now that subscribe, I'm older. Subscribe, subscribe so that we can buy more. Exactly, exactly, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, so we have a number of things on the show to discuss today. Very interesting stuff. Lusaka Water and Sewerage Company, or rather, and Supply Company, it used to be Sewerage, now Supply Company, commence the water rationing. So we have not just electricity rationing and fuel rationing in some sense, we now have <laughs> water rationing. And thereafter, we'll discuss some news from the court. Last week, we gave you guys an update uh, on the Shikapwasha case, and we're going to give you some more of that. Uh, from there, we'll discuss Mr. Lungu. He's on the news again. Mm. Almost said glory to God. He's in the news again. Mr. Lungu. <laughs> Why? You was, like it? <laughs> yeah, kind of. He was blocked in Kabwe when he went to see his bishop, or uh, anyway, that's what he said in the video. Can't I come and see my bishop in peace? <laughs> yeah, so this is what we're discussing on the show today. If you're not subscribed, please do subscribe. Hit that bell and share. Tell me whether you think I'm looking good. Of course I am. And <laughs> yeah, we're looking forward to your engagement on the channel, whether it's comments, likes, uh, views, shares, whatever it is. We are so delighted to see your engagement on the show. Are you ready for the show? Yes, so? Yeah. I was born ready. You're born ready? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's 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 get into it. So due to the drought, which has affected many parts of Southern Africa, uh, Lusaka Water and Supply Company has decided to commence the water rationing program that they uh, promised us, or let me say threatened us with, <laughs> since this is not necessarily positive news. So apart from the water, apart from the electricity rationing, and in some sense, fuel rationing, we now have to, we are now going to have to ration our water. This means the water that they will supply to us is no longer going to be as consistent as it was before. And they're given various reasons for the said rationing. For starters, they're saying they need electricity to, what's happening with my speech today? <laughs> they need electricity to be able to pump water. Uh, Aside that, water levels are going down due to the droughts. And mm. so these are the reasons we're being given by the Saka, Lusaka Water and Supply Company for why uh, water rationing is coming up. I don't know. I think I'm a bit nervous today. Sometimes I get nervous when I'm about to. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. So my words are just... Mm. Sometimes it's like I want to say five words at once, mm, but one has to come out. Ah, okay. Just yeah. relax. <laughs> just relax. <laughs> Effects of being older. <laughs> yeah, so <I'm> <laughs> <laughs> we have uh, an update from, uh, was this Osaka Water? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. We have an update from Osaka Water. Take a look. Water rationing serves as a proactive <laughs> mitigation measure to preserve, manage groundwater resource and to ensure fair distribution of water effectively. <laughs> Drawing from similar past experiences, uh, LWSC has identified key areas of focus to navigate this period and to ensure sustainable water supply. Yeah, to ensure sustainable water supply. Sustainable, not so sustainable after all. If it's sustainable, then it would be sustainable, but it's not sustainable. Therefore, it is not sustainable. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this is quite bad, man. Um, it's quite bad. We've just, we've been de we've been depending on hydroelectricity, hydro to produce water. Yeah. When we've been singing about uh, finding alternatives all this while, because I mean, water you can produce using solar pumps and other things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it's not just hydroelectricity, and especially politicians they've been singing this song from time immemorial. Mm. And uh, you know, all the time when they are talking about it, it sounds like a story, a good story, but yeah. now when it hits us. Then we know because they're saying that instead of uh, supplying 18 hours of water, they'll be doing 10 hours. Yeah, they're reducing it. <laughs> they are saying they have um, the demand is 480 million liters of water mm -hmm. uh, to supply to the country okay. uh, or rather to Lusaka. That's better. Uh, yes, mm. and what they're able to supply mm. is 300 million, which is a deficit of 330, which is a deficit of about 150 million liters. 
Oh, okay. Yeah. Ah, okay. I thought they said that the capacity, what we need is 400. You said 400 and what? The capacity mm. is 330. Okay. okay. Whereas the demand yes. is 480. Okay. So the original deficit, I should have explained it better actually. Okay. The original deficit was 150 mm-hmm. million liters. But now, mm-hmm. now it's worse. It's worse. Yes. But, but they didn't tell us what they are supplying now, right? No, they didn't give us the details of what. I think because they are still calculating based on they are tra- talking about gathering power sources from solar, from this, from that. Mm, okay. uh, yeah. Mm. I thought they were they were going to give us like just uh, the round an, figure, an estimate, an estimate. Yeah. Uh, do we ever really get accurate reports in Zambia? Yeah, for? because now it's like they did it systematically. Right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so that we should have the information distorted. Should we just we give be, us the hours. Should we be seeing another firing of uh, the <laughs> water resources manager or something? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you see, the problem with this is that we want to, to make sense out of it. Yeah. So if they tell us instead of 18 hours, we'll be doing 10 hours, and then they give us a breakdown of the capacity and what is needed, we need at least uh, to break down everything. Yeah. Yeah, because now yeah. they're telling us, okay, now we're doing for 10 hours instead of 18. So what is this? How is this relating? To the capacity yeah yeah, yeah. So. i guess it's also about trying to explain it in ways that people would understand on their day-to-day uh, lives mm-hmm. it's like when we talk about economics there's a quantitative economics mm-hmm. and qualitative quantitative would be a reflection of like, let's say the numbers of the economy mm-hmm. you can say inflation is doing well it's now a single digit yet prices are still the same mm, so it's, it's by it, the way yeah so it's <laughs> not oh no it's not yeah so it's not reflective in the quality of people's lives yeah. it's only reflective in numbers mm. so what they're doing here this is a more quantitative report rather than it doesn't reflect exactly what this means in people's homes individually okay. yeah yeah so yeah, speaking we, we, of inflation sorry yeah sorry by grace inflation is running actually yeah, yeah, it's running. It's That's why the, <laughs> the monetary policy committee has been raising the the policy rate. Ah, yeah, they actually did last week by hundred basis points. Yeah, imagine hundred. Hmm. And the, the UPN this since they came into power, they've raised it like six times. Hmm. Yeah. It's what more are they, than double? What, what are they trying to call uh, to control exchange rate? Uh, probably yeah, and inflation because inflation is running of late. Yeah. Yeah. Too much money chasing after few goods for those that don't know what inflation is. <laughs> it doesn't look like it in Zambia right now. <laughs> we have both few money and few goods. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Except that the, money, the, the goods are fewer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Few money, fewer goods. <laughs> and we don't have the right to print. Yeah. yeah. So it's. We are <laughs> we're in shambles. Yeah, we're not in the most pleasurable of, of positions. Right now, guys, if you have not turned to the Lord. <laughs> Repent. <laughs> Repent. I saw someone posting. They had uh, they walked into ShopRite. They had a, a basket, mm. bought a few things, and they were saying, "Oh, this has cost me one thousand two hundred. Of course, it was a joke. It was like two hundred kwacha worth of items." And they mm. were saying, "Oh Lord, let your kingdom come," <laughs> <laughs> because we are hopeful. This is a Bible lesson, a Bible talks lesson, by the way. We are hopeful that Jesus' kingdom will come and redeem us yes. from the corruption that's in the world. Amen. You see, the Bible talks about how. Uh, Daniel, when you read the book of Daniel, I will not get into details of it. He sees uh, the king had a dream of a statue that had a head of gold and it kept reducing in quality. There was bronze, there was copper, there was, uh, I'm really paraphrasing, those those are not the metals that were there. But what happened at the end of it all was that there was a rock that came and hit the statue and then turned into a mountain that covered the whole earth, which is symbolic of Jesus Christ's political kingdom that is going to come and take over the world. And yes, food will be free. Yeah, so... At last. <laughs> at <laughs> last. <laughs> yeah, so... Um, news from the courts. Mr. Shikapwasha seemed to have a conversation with the doctor just before he died. Apparent. This is apparent. Mm. This is supposed, rather. Uh, and he told him that he shot himself. This raises so many questions on how someone can shoot themselves with a shotgun. What do they call that ricochet where the gun oh, g- gets out of <laughs> gets out of aim? Yeah, I don't ex- I don't expect that someone would successfully shoot themselves in the stomach with with a with a shotgun. Yeah, yeah. but here's what was taking place in court. Daughter of Lieutenant General Ronish Kapwasha has told the Lusaka High Court that she is not aware that her father shot himself. This is in a case in which uh, 
LT General Shkapwasha's wife, General Sengo, aged 73, is accused of killing her husband. When the matter came up for the continued cross-examination, one of the defense lawyers asked Vanessa Shkapwasha, who is on the stand as a witness, whether she is aware that her father had a conversation with a physician that he shot himself. And her response was in the negative. Further, he asked whether she is aware that her father was confirmed conscious at Minasoko Military Hospital. The witness again answered in the negative. Yeah, so witness is unaware that the father shot himself, given that she earlier gave a testimony that the mother admitted to shooting him, mm. or at least thought she shot him. She was like, I, I don't know, maybe I did, but mm. we need to hide the gun. Yeah, mm. so later on she's being told, oh no, your father actually admitted to shooting himself. We don't mm. know. Yeah, it would be we interesting where this is going because I guess yeah. the physician also be will take a stand. So yeah, physician probably take a stand. Yeah. Uh, we do not want to give our thoughts on that matter, yeah. lest we be called in. To <laughs> <laughs> we'll be giving our thoughts as the the news hit us, the way it will hit. Us. Yeah, what do you think though? Do you? Uh, I I don't know if mm. if we are even free to share our thoughts on this. Do you actually think he could have shot himself? Is that a possibility? Of course, there is a possibility, but uh, I don't think that's what happened. And just the what I think about the whole thing, yeah, I think it's taking a turn that we will not expect. Yeah, yeah, that's all I can say for now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, other news. In other news from the courts, uh, former Minister of Lands Jean Kapata says she used one million kwacha to construct her ten double-story flats. Former Lands Minister Jean Kapata has told the High Court that she spent one million kwacha to construct her ten double-story flats situated in Lusaka's Roma Township. Ms. Kapata said this after a seen visit to the state property by the court. This is in a matter in which the former minister and others among them, former Justice Minister Given Lubinda, sued News Diggers Media Limited and the Environmental Investigation Agency demanding for damages in libel. The plaintiff complained against an article contained in News Diggers edition of December 6, 2019, titled Lungu Tasila in Mukula Cartel, as well as the EIA's publication of December 2019, uh, titled Mukula Cartel, How Timber Trafficking Networks Plunder Zambian Forests, among other, artic among other article, articles and opinions. And when the matter came up for continued cross-examination, defense lawyer Mtemonchito after a scene visit, asked Ms. Kapata how much she spent on her double-story flats. Ms. Kapata responded saying she spent one million kwacha. Further, Ms. Kapata revealed that she makes about 250000 every six weeks uh, in her chicken business, but she does not meet the tax threshold. I do not fully understand the last part when she says she Which does not is meet. the tax threshold? Yeah, that's what I don't fully understand. But from my understanding, from what she says, she does meet the tax threshold because you need to make 250000 per quarter to be liable for VAT. Which oh, is, she said six months. She makes up to six months. Oh, six, six months? Weeks. Yeah, six weeks. She oh, said six weeks. So okay. six weeks would be uh, one month, two weeks. Yeah, yeah. So the... The requirement is you need to make up about 250,000 per quarter or 800,000 per year in order to be liable for value-added tax. But she says she does not meet the tax threshold. Which tax threshold, I do not know because according to my knowledge, VAT should be the highest tax threshold. Mm -hmm. um, the rest, everyone meets almost. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, so. To me, actually the joke is in, I don't know if it's a joke, but what's yeah. laughable yeah. is that, did you see the flats by the way? One million kwacha. Uh, I I just don't I just don't think in Roma any quality of flats that amounts to ten flats would be one million kwacha. Mm. Even if you're building like, I need to know that contract. I know, like, <laughs> what was the quality of the flats? They should fall down by the push <laughs> of a finger. <laughs> if yeah, one and million speak kwacha. Of the area Roma. Roma. Mm. Roma Township. Is How much did she buy the, the plot for? Or did she already have the plot? Maybe she already had the blocks as well. Maybe she already had the cement. What she spent one million kwacha on was labor. And the rest of the material is already there. Yeah, Maybe. but I, I think they should have stated that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And the lawyer questioning as well is Mr. Nchito. However, we will not make comments on that. Mr. Nchito is the one who did the Nole prosecute himself.
world record <laughs> <laughs> when it was a DPP. <laughs> yeah, but it's funny that uh, she's getting into trouble on something that she's the one. They are the ones who sued, right? She's part of the people who sued. Yeah, yeah. Because of that news diggers item. Oh yeah, and she's seemingly getting into trouble over her own. Mm. The working of her own hands. Yeah, because <laughs> now we're questioning ourselves. One million. Yeah, like guys, are we st- are we that stupid? What do you think? <laughs> Imagine. Eh, what do they think of us? Imagine. <laughs> Oh, wow, 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 politicians. This is so interesting. So that was news from the court. Uh, We will, of course, these are developing stories that we'll give you updates on as we keep going. Uh, Mrs. Jen Lusengo, we want to see whether indeed she did not shoot her husband. And Ms. Jen Kapata, we want to see whether indeed she bailed her 10 flats with a million kwacha. And oh, they are not just flats, they are double story. Yeah, I saw them. That's why I'm saying this. (laughs) Oh, wow, 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 wow. Double story flats for a million kwacha. Anyway, uh, police attempted to stop uh, Mr. Lungo as he was visiting his bishop or Catholic bishop in Kabwe. And this caused a scene which was not taken well okay, by let's go, let's go. many okay, factions. Fine. To begin with, Oka did not take it well. The government itself did not take it well, saying that Mr. Lungo's freedoms do not extend to now that he's out of power you don't say it's a very contentious one yeah yeah very contentious but everyone is coming out saying something mm. um so mr lungu and i'm in charge of the security of kasani yeah. yes. place like when it, there will be another thing yeah I will, i will be answerable to that maybe if people start fighting outside there they will be answerable to that so being that to see that security is not uh, prepared to have this as Cassandra police, I think he, he, we are not allowed. Mm-hmm. Yes. But, but then you're going to fight. No, it's not fighting. Me, I can't fight with anyone. No, no, fight. Who's no. Fight you? no, we are not saying that. I'm saying if people start doing that outside the there. Which people? People have seen you, sir. Why don't you go and talk to them to stop that fight? Because they're not allowed to fight. That's your job to stop them from fighting. Not to stop me from seeing my 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 my, my bishop. Your job is to stop lawbreakers or people who are planning to break the law. Not to stop me from enjoying my right to move around freely really, or to meet my bishop or just pay courtesy call on him. That's not your job. Your job is to protect me, protect him, so that we can meet freely, talk, and then I go my way. Yes, sir. When you were uh, coming from Osaka. You didn't inform us to say that. Do I have to inform you? Do I have to inform you? When you watch videos like this, it almost makes you feel pity for Mr. Lungu. <laughs> it almost makes you forget. I, I was watching a documentary earlier today mm. about how women forget mm. the pain of childbearing. Forget what? The pain? Okay. Yes, of childbearing a few months after. Their body apparently is programmed to forget mm. to the extent that uh, just a few years later, they'll have another child. And then, wow, uh, in, in, in labor, I don't like to use the word labor, I would rather say childbearing, mm. they remember, oh wait, this was actually a traumatic experience. Mm. Why did I do it again? Yeah, so this is kind of what we're seeing when we see Mr. Lungu walking around yeah, doing this. Thank God for the women, by the way, for that. Oh yeah, thank God for women. We appreciate you. We appreciate you. We appreciate you. So, yeah. yeah this but is I get your point. To, to me, I think when you said that uh, uh, it makes you feel pity, I thought you were going to say you are feeling pity for the UPND government. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I am feeling beautiful. You <laughs> when I, I mean, when you see a video like this that's isolated from the full context of the story, mm-hmm. it almost makes you believe that he's being victimized because right now the police looks a bit unreasonable mm-hmm. from what okay, we've just so, seen. But from the full context, from what you know, what do you think? From the full context, I think he's pushing the boundaries. He's trying to get them to react in order for him to garner sympathy. Uh, but how? He just went to pay a courtesy court to a bishop. <laughs> at his office, at his school. <laughs> Where do you stand, sir? <laughs> no, because I mean, for this one, they are, this is now showing up the UPND. They're abusing the police much in the way that the PF was abusing the police. Yeah. And we've been talking about this. Also, when you say you are feeling pity for the UPND, you're mm-hmm. talking about what, what's the context? So the context is that now, right now, people are seeing them for who they are. Yeah. The way they're abusing the police, we're getting more like a deja vu. We are looking mm. and this is what the PF used to do. Mm. So I'm feeling pity for them because they might face the same fate that the PF faced. The PF faced. Yeah, because they are slowly going to cross the line. The PF crossed the line at some point yeah. with abusing the police. Yeah. We saw that they started sending people 
the police to shoot to kill yeah at public gatherings just because they don't like the opposition leader who's at that public gathering yeah or just because they want them time and again and they want to show his boss oh i've got a theory for why the police showed up here okay yeah tell me i want to hear that because jj was present <laughs> 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 yeah, by the way, JJ, speaking of JJ, he was also with the president that time, uh, with uh, the former president that time when they were in town. Did you notice? Yes, 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 yeah, yes, yes. yes so yes. close to him. Yes. And I noticed uh, they've, that, they've been quite close lately. Yeah. Mm. yeah they've been, and uh, it's, uh, politics, my friend. Maybe it's because he was crying, the president, the former president, <laughs> rather, former president. <laughs> My mistake. Uh, I noticed oh, this young man is not happy with what's going on. Let's bring yeah. him on board. Politics is funny because if you if if the if uh, PF had adopted uh, this guy JJ, in yeah, Petauke, yeah, they would have won the seat as PF. Wait, he stood as an independent, right? Yes, and he won because he was uh, rejected. Mm. by the PF not once three times mm. that's because the third time that's when he said ah in the country well, isn't this own. the same JJ that looked like that had an, a face of amazement when he saw the president at the what do you call it Nkwala, Nshuala. oh yeah, yeah that's what I'm saying politics I know it's like they are neither here nor there yes. uh, the problem with our politics is that they are not ideology based mm. we are playing politics of the stomach therefore you can see guys just imagine what does a political party mean to you? Is it normal that a leader in a political party can switch to another political party without any concrete explanation for uh, difference in beliefs? Mm, they, have, make sense. they have not repented from any form of belief, mm. but they have switched camps. <laughs> in Zambia, we see it as far as vice presidents of parties moving from their party to go and, f to go and join another party that seems seemingly promising yeah presidents even yes we yeah. saw Mr. G Mr. GBM oh yeah Mao Sampa and uh, Chimbakambuidi uh, Chimbakambuidi I, I don't know how well GBM is doing now I saw he was in the hospital we oh yeah he's better now he's, he was in prayers. court actually last week he was in court <laughs> 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 actually we know that he's sick because there was a bench warrant issued for him and Chilifia uh, why are you trying court. to say it's a Cambridge kind of arrangement no. <laughs> where whenever the police shows up it collapses <laughs> <laughs> no, and uh, Cambido also is, is not in good health. He oh, was yeah? in court last time also on a wheelchair. Yeah, so... Guys, here's my advice. If you're playing politics and somehow you know your hands may have been somewhere near money that you'll be questioned for, go to the gym. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, but you know, just commenting on this particular video, uh, to me what the police are doing is wrong. Yeah. They actually barged into this office. Yeah. Now, this does not only harm the PF. Yeah. This can also has got a potential of harming the the Catholics. Yeah. Because they are think this, this is a bishop. This is not just the mere priest. Yeah. Can you yeah. see the uh I don't know if she's a sister. What do you call are they all called sisters? Yeah, she's a nun. What's the difference between a nun and a sister? They are the same. So sister It's like the way there was Christian. father and priest. The, you, may, you remember you explained it to me last time. Yeah, so yeah. priest it's is his thing. title, father is how he's addressed. Yes. Nun is how she's addressed. No, nun is what she is. Is what she is. Yes. Sister is how she's yes. addressed. So, so you can see this. Sister Yvonne or sister something. Okay, so you can see the sister there in the background. She looks shocked. Like, <laughs> what's going on? Yeah, Wait. and she's, <laughs> she's, she's got a loud mouth. Oh, she does? Yeah, because I saw because after this now they moved to another room. Yeah, where they went to have a so-called closed door meeting, ah. but they were alive. So, we, so we heard everything that they discussed. Of course, nothing progressive. Closed door, open meeting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah so yeah. we are so, about to show you another video. Oh, sorry. Go on. Yeah. So I heard the way she was talking. Hey, she's so against God, <laughs> and she's so aligned to Ed Galung. Oh, really? Yeah. Ah, nice. And she was just amazed that he, Ed Galung was in their presence. You know? She was almost yeah. running the show. She, she was starstruck. Yeah, she was almost running the show, guys. Yeah. A group of men. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> is there any any form of hierarchy that that is followed in in terms of like priests, nuns, and is there any form of hierarchy? Uh, yes, I should think so. So, anyway, let's yeah, not but, get, let's not get into that. that yeah, be, yeah, of course, but uh, we have the bishop who's the senior most. So the bishop is the senior most. Yes. Then oh, okay, okay, I understand. Mm. Yeah. So we have another video of Mr. Lungo at the same premises. Uh, having an altercation with the police mm -hmm. in what seemed to be a very interesting chat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was now because after they left this room, yeah. because they were sort of harassed. Yeah, and uh, they left this room. Yeah, so they went to meet in another room where they had their what did you call it? Closed door open meeting. Yeah, <laughs> they they had their closed door open meeting in there, 
And then uh, just in there, they realized to say the police is still out there. Mm. In fact, comes my and Jake is in the doctor checking. I think <laughs> <laughs> ah. so she went outside, she went to talk to the police. <laughs> yeah, she came and came to report. Ah, they are telling me, <laughs> hey. yeah. So it galungo was like, and by the way, uh, in this video, uh, sorry, we didn't show the, the priest speaking, yeah. oh, sorry, the bishop. Yeah, I, I love the way he was composed, you know. It yeah, says he, a lot he was. About, I, I could see from all the angles wherever he showed up on camera, mm-hmm. he was just smiling, yes, he was calm. Yes. I remember Mr. Lungu said, uh, to the policeman, You're acting like if I remember well, an idiot, it's coming, yes, yeah, it's coming. yeah, it's coming. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And he had to apologize to the bishop, but anyway. Why are you following me like a suspect? You are not a suspect, sir. But see, why are you following me? I don't know who is following me, sir. Yeah, I just Your men have been following me from the time I got into town. Guns and everything. Sir, no one is following me. No one is following me? Yes, sir. Okay, then go. We want to see you, sir. But why? This is a school, sir. You're not the owner of the school, please, for goodness sake. Don't behave like an idiot. What's What's the problem? No, he wants to see me off. This is his This is school. <laughs> he was apologizing for the for, for the use of the word idiot oh, in the bishop's presence. We don't know. He said uh, Oh allow me this one. Allow me this one. He said Namirete. Now we know what the UPND is doing. Joke. <laughs> <laughs> I hear you, bro. I hear you. <laughs> yeah, so that, that that was the application. I think I found it quite interesting. Wish me was too. longer. <laughs> me too, yeah, me too. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so uh, I don't know if you watch the whole because it's Ed Galungo was live on this page. Yeah, on his page. Yeah, that's why we've not even. How uh, do you even watch that when you're blocked? <laughs> <laughs> No, they're back domains. <laughs> they're back domains. <laughs> exactly. I have to use what I have. <laughs> I'm confirming that eh? I'm actually blocked on the Ed Galungu page, but we find ways to see what is happening. Yeah, yeah. So He's got you an see, account uh, called Munyenyembe Chofia, which is not blocked, <laughs> while Chofia Munyenyembe is blocked. Something like that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So you know, um, it's really interesting what happened, ka? because mm. after they went, I was just explaining that after they went to the other room, comes mm. Michael Chukapanza, ka checking situation, kabuera, so Ed Galungu just like took it upon himself, you know, uh, because in that meeting, he wasn't like chairing the meeting. Mm. It was just like a discussion, ah, not okay. even like a formal discussion. It's like people are just seated and having tea and chatting. Yeah. Yeah. So after he hit the situation, then he took it upon himself. I know since they are there, let's go. I don't want any trouble here. That's when now he came out. So uh, it's not like this was a surprise. He came out with it. Mm, you can yeah. see from his face, he wasn't happy. He yeah, wasn't amused yeah, at yeah, all. Yeah. Yeah, he, and he, he came out to shout at the police. And he actually sells himself out. Huh? When he's not happy, we can tell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he's got yeah. A, very, a very expressive face. Mm. So, you know, yeah. to start with, after the police budged in the, 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 the bishop's office, Ed Galungo was justified. The yeah. police were saying, no, uh, you didn't tell us that you are actually, you know, right even now. the police look shocked that they are there. Can you see his just his hands are just, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. No, no, sir, we are just here to see you off. Uh, why are you here to see me off? Is it your school? No, no, sir, <laughs> we are just here to see you off. <laughs> hey, it's <laughs> very embarrassing. He was, he, he was actually giving them a side eye. No, <laughs> no, no, sir, we are here to see you off. <laughs> <laughs> it's very embarrassing. Before I lose my thought, yeah, uh, you should remind me about that policeman. I want to tell you something about him. Okay, so you know, after the Ed Galungo Abachokam room, he had something to say. Now, in the first room there. He's, he was just Ed Galungu is just fired by saying that uh, you are not because they po- he was giving an excuse to say no you you know you are a public figure so when you are coming here you, yeah, need, to tell you us, need to tell just us just in case outside people start fighting na Galungu na gave no bomb you have to fight <laughs> with his arms folded you, you want to <laughs> you know when I was watching that I clapped and I remembered you that I thought they were going bad drama to come there like a kind of strategy he's yeah <laughs> he thinks on his feet <laughs> yeah, very relaxed uh, you want to fight <laughs> <laughs> then the man was confused. Hey, hey no, uh, no, 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 sir. I can't fight with anyone. 
<laughs> no, but you're talking about <laughs> fights outside. It's it's rare to see footage of the police at Hambo. Yeah. No, people outside yeah. you start fighting. Ah, ah, go to them and speak to them. That's your job. Yeah. His job, his job is not to stop people from meeting. I know, right? Yeah, unless if they were having a public gathering. It wasn't a understand. rally, it wasn't anything. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's why I say in these when you see these videos especially isolated, mm-hmm. uh when you don't really look at the grand scheme of things, mm-hmm. he almost begins to look justified. You can almost begin to feel pity for for Mr. Lungu like, Okay, tell ah. me what are the grand scheme of things that you're talking about? When I <laughs> <laughs> Because let's say when I talk about grand, grand scheme of things, uh-huh. I think uh Mr. Lungu is being very strategic about where he's found mm-hmm. in order to kind of steer up a reaction. Okay. I think. Okay, that's okay. that's what yeah. I suppose. Like Yeah, 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 you could be right. Yeah, like he's being found in certain places mm-hmm. uh to steer up. Let's be honest, guys. Mm-hmm. Uh don't don't former presidents move with a motorcade. Yeah, they do. Don't they still have some form of security? Mm-hmm. I know he may have relinquished certain things when mm-hmm. he got back into politics, a lot of but there's still a way that he's regarded as a former mm-hmm. president. Mm-hmm. And there may be some uh, courtesy <coughs> in him telling the police that, oh, I'll actually be in your city uh, because he may have his own private detail or private security. I don't know. Mm-hmm. But, uh, but yeah, I think there's some, ca- some courtesy in doing that. Mm-hmm. Um, also, it's just a bit of, I guess it raises some form of anxiety in in the police hearts to just see Mr. Lungu show up. Why? Like, ah, why has he shown up here? But why should it give them anxiety? Because he's also a free Zambia. Yeah? Yeah. I mean, given what he did, mm. going to check tomato prices and mm-hmm. the crowds following him, mm-hmm. don't you think maybe they would think, I guess it's so like yes, when you, that's a, that's a public it's like when you talk about, when you talk about the American society, mm-hmm. for example, mm. they say about 70% of violent crimes are committed by black people mm, yeah. when in fact black people constitute only 14 percent of the nation's population so a small group of people is responsible for such large proportions of violent crime that's what they say mm. it naturally gives the police a prom- propensity to mm. deal with them a certain way mm. when they see them on the road they stop the car they have their hand on their gun already because they are thinking this guy might pull a gun out. I don't know. That's how they make it look. Mm. Yeah, I remember you giving me this analogy last time, but I will repeat the same yeah, thing that I said. Yeah, we had less viewers then. Yeah, but <laughs> <laughs> but I repeat the same yeah. thing that I say. If the police thinks that the PF is a violent uh, organization, they don't need to have these public processions. Their job is to make sure that they are enforced. Yeah, so the I think he. I think he came. He gave a reason. He said they are not very capable of handling such a situation. Oh, you mean on the last incident? No, no, no. Mm. The police here, when he was being asked whether he wants to fight, he no, was but talking he's about having a private meeting. So what? 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 No, what my, are they my, capable? My, my point. My point is, mm. if anything like that arose, mm-hmm. because precedents, they mm-hmm. have seen it happen before. Mm-hmm. If they are thinking it might happen again Mm -hmm. they are already weighing their capacity they're counting the cost they know that if such a thing happened we won't be able to manage it therefore let us begin by trying to manage the man in question of course i appreciate you trying to reason with them yeah Uh, you know you know me boy you know my stand about ed galunga and the pf yeah yeah, yeah. i'm actually surprised this is a good thing if uh, by the way please do subscribe hit that bell and share yeah yeah also i'm being objective because next time this will be happening to not an ed galunga and ed galunga is someone who people think "Ah, after on have a yeah and they forget yeah but if we're setting precedence because we thought the upn is different yeah. So if every government, every successful gov- every successive government is doing the same thing, mm. it means that next time it's only a matter of time before innocent people are cornered mm. by mm. the police. Did you just say successive? Successive. S- successive. Yeah. Uh, it's, like, it's like Western English. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I hear you. No, I just had to throw that in there. <laughs> okay. Oh, just for laughs. Yeah. I'm sure you guys are laughing. Ha ha ha. Ha ha. So when actually Edgar Lungo is, and you know he's playing right into like they're playing right into his arms. Yeah. Yeah. Because if you notice Pajaka like video, he actually after spoke, spoke, spoke my emotions, yeah, he wanted to go. Then he remembered that the, he oh, needs to say bye. Yeah. And he, he continued yeah. saying that, you know, in F now by but now what in now quite something danunka. Uh-uh. Mm. Oh, so meaning like kuna, uh, 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 at Mushkolen so she did. Choka paja wendo kwela na mvamoti kavao na uza wa polisi wa jata twaifwe. Yeah, and uh, Uka, 
uh, had some comments to make on this. I did not know that this is Mr. Sakwiva Sak- Scotta, right? Mm. I did not know Sakwiva Scotta was part of OK. I'm actually seeing this for it the first time. It seems like the chairperson or the leader. Yeah, because he is quite vocal on their behalf. So he complained about how the government does not respect the church. Check it out. To think that you can go into the house of the Lord and intimidate people reminds us of how this government has no respect for the church. I would like you guys to hold that thought. I know you have something to say about this, but hold that thought (laughs) because there's something coming up. He says they have no respect to go into the house of God and threaten people shows they have no respect for the church. Right? Mm. The government responded. Government would like to remind Mr. Lungu that the privileges and powers he currently enjoys are a result of his tenure while in office. And they do not, I repeat, and they do not extend to actions taken after his presidency. We would like to sincerely apologize to the church the Catholic Church pertaining to the incident that happened in Kabul. Yeah, so, in fact, before I show you this video, Mm. (laughs) don't you find it a bit uh, funny, this whole exchange of words, where the government is actually responding, and then at the end of their response, they actually apologize, (laughs) which was almost them admitting. (laughs) They actually actually apologize to the Catholic Church. Yeah, Yeah. because in this press briefing, there was him. Uh, We didn't hear from Mweto. I wish it was him. I know, (laughs) I know. In this press briefing, there was him. There was Garin Combo. Yeah. There was uh, this uh, Tabokawana. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, they had to... They are, what can I say? They are saving face, yeah. trying to save face, but at the same time playing politics. Yeah. Because you can't be saying, uh, we are, would like to apologize to the Catholic uh, organizer or the Catholics, but <laughs> <laughs> we want also to tell it Galungu to say that your his, immunity. His freedoms do your, not extend to. <laughs> your immunity ended when you left office. Yeah. yeah. In fact, Garin Combo As though he cut. willingly left office. <laughs> <laughs> Garin Combo actually categorically stated that your immunity ended on the on August in August 2021. Yeah. So whatever you are doing from then on you will be liable for it. Though we we did go through this, eh? We went through the parts of the constitution that was mm-hmm. it the constitution or the, the yeah, it was the constitution or was yeah. it the penal code that that talk about this and it's a bit maybe we need a lawyer one day to come and help us understand that but mm-hmm. it doesn't seem to suggest that his immunity ends when he leaves. Mm. Actually, office. for me, actually, yeah. it's, it's only in the, this UPND government that I've seen such sentiments. Yeah, they're, they're the first guys trying to amend it through the media. <laughs> yeah, so. <laughs> yeah, because we remember the way this guy, uh, Mwanawasa, took uh, Chiluba. Chiluba, yeah. Chiluba to court. Yeah. We know how Rupia Bando went to court. Yeah. This process had to pass through parliament. Yeah. And people had to vote. Yeah. to lift the former president's immunity. Yeah. So I don't know what things have changed now. I could be wrong. Yeah. Yeah, yeah th- th- there should be no lifting of an immunity that left. Yeah, of course. When you left power. Yeah. yeah. So ironically, or interesting enough, I told you guys to hold that thought because Mr. Sakuya Scott, I was talking about how disrespectful it is to the church of Christ for a politician to go and intimidate people in church. Mm, the police. Yeah. Right. Oh, so, or yeah. The police. By the way. By but, the way, this wasn't. This you. wasn't. This wasn't even in church that they went to intimidate people. No, it it, it wasn't in church. It was. Mm, but it's a sacrifice. It was a, a room. Yeah, but uh, besides the the church. No, but that's like the church itself. I know, mm. but the reason why I'm saying this is because of this. Those of you who were there in 1990. Are you feeling like, like I'm feeling? Yes. Has the hour come again? Yes. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> remember, remember this. In Proverbs 28, 6, it's proclaimed as follows. Better a poor and just man 
than a rich and wicked one. That is the choice you will have to make in days to come. Do you know the answer? You know what you'll do? I've got a pretty good idea what you're going to do. <laughs> yeah, so disrespectful much. As a Christian, I find that actually more disrespectful than what the police did. For him to go in church, quote the scriptures, and interpret it to suggest that the rich man and the poor man being referred to are two political candidates that we have in the country. And you can see by how the members are nodding their heads mm. in disapproval. I wouldn't be surprised if Mr. If Pastor, um, I don't know what title he goes by, uh, Danny Pule loses members after this. Wait, this is at his church? Yeah. Danny Pule? Yeah, Dunamis. Oh, okay. Yeah, by the way, rich could be relative in Zambia. To some people, that same man being referred to as a poor man. I know. Is rich. At, how is... to the majority of the people who are voting. Guys, to all Zambians, <laughs> how is he poor? <laughs> we were talking, we've been talking about big amounts here. No, this one has forfeited <clears throat> 9 million. This one has forfeited this much. Oh, no, but he paid a 400,000 dollars. Mm. So I don't know what they're talking about. I think there's a lot of money in that family. Yeah. Uh, but obviously, anyway. compared to mm. uh, his. Chicken change. Oh, of yeah. course, yes. yes yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah. You spoke about, uh, there's something that you said that I want to remember. You said in the grand scheme of things. Yeah, yeah. To me, in the grand scheme of things, I look at Ed Galunga as this person who messed up the system. Yeah. Our system's already messed up, but he abused the system together mm. with the police. Mm. In fact, for what Ed Galungu did during his time, mm. the UPN, they have not done it yet. Ah, no, no, no. They've they, not they, yet they, crossed they far, that line. They are far from it. Yeah, but you know, the problem is that They've they are going to- They've not even reached MMD levels. Not even UNIP levels. I don't know about that, <laughs> but they are going towards it. UNIP claimed mm. that in oh, heaven, no, UNIP or something. In heaven, it's God, and on earth, it's Kaunda. That's what they claimed. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so to me, the UPND are going to the same direction that the PF were going. Yeah. The same way that they are abusing the police. To me, what's wrong? If you feel like they are going, there's going to be a problem, reinforce. Yeah. So that there should be nothing to talk about. Yeah. Because now there are people who don't like HH and the UPND, and they are Catholic. Mm. So they might try by all means to cause, but when they start seeing such things, they are like, ah, get yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So these yeah. guys are about to cross the line. So in the grand scheme of things, when you, that's what I thought you were speaking about. Yeah. And even to me, in the grand scheme of things, mm. I think Ed Galungu does not deserve any sympathy. Mm. The problem, though, is that when we start sweeping such things under the carpet because it's Ed Galungu, mm. it will happen to another person. Oh, yeah. yeah We've seen yeah. it happen to a lot of other people. Yeah, yes, I, I agree. Oh, by the way, you want to tell me something about policeman? Yeah, that policeman, yeah. I think, I hope that he's compensated very well. Yeah. Because in that same week, I don't know if you heard this story, but we we had a 10-year-old boy who was oh, killed yeah, in yeah, 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 yeah. yeah Actually, by yes. so-called stray bullets, yes, yes. which is keeping on recurring in Zambia and is very dangerous by the police. Yeah, Because to me, sometimes there are genuine mistakes by the police, but then it questions their training. Yeah, What kind of shooters do you have? Yeah, What if we have a real problem? Are how they going are you, to manage to hit the target? How mistakes always happening on children? Imagine on children, yeah. a 10-year-old boy, yeah. his life cut short. So that same man, because it was in Kabul, mm. So that same man is the one who was sent to go and represent the police eh, at the funeral. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he had a bad week. <laughs> very bad week. He had a bad week. <laughs> yeah. And then now he's, he was being embarrassed because that's a very big embarrassment. I know. Imagine if his children are watching and they are yes, conscious. my father being called an idiot. I know. Don't behave like an idiot. <laughs> After that, he apologizes to the bishop. Imagine. <laughs> oh, no, sorry, I called him an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah and so you know we're creating a very vicious cycle a very bad one yeah yeah and to me as well let me talk about these guys the uka i've got a big problem with politicians but now i hear that this is a, is a danny police church so mm. maybe it's understandable yeah uh dunamis miracles church mm -hmm. yeah. i've got no problem with politicians going to church right yeah I've got a problem with politicians give, being given a, the pulpit to go and spread their political yeah. agendas. Yeah. I've got, I've got no problem with a pastor standing uh, in front. By the way, I know this is an area of passion for me. Yeah, Here's a, another Bible talks lesson. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Bonus. <laughs> in the Bible, when you read, uh, must be Leviticus, 
mm. I believe or Exodus it must be one of the first five books of the Bible. There's a story about Aaron when he was made a priest mm. and okay when when Aaron when he was made a priest and he was um well, he was taught how to make the sacrifices and everything. Two of his sons went into the tabernacle to make a sacrifice and God killed them instantly because they offered strange fire before mm. the Lord. And this is how I view a politician going on stage to speak of political issues, especially those that may also be bordering on morality. Mm. It's offering strange fire before the Lord. <clears throat> if it was back in the day, the ground would have opened up and swallowed you. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Because this is campaigning itself. Yeah. This this is playing this is uh, he's talking like he's at the political right. Yeah. And I know that he was trying to speak like this but in short he was saying do you feel like 1990 when next year or in the next exactly. election Exactly. And 1990 was 1990 by the way was Mwamba Luchembe's year, right? Mm -hmm. When there was a coup attempt. <laughs> it could be something else. <laughs> He could be meaning something else. <laughs> no, 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 no. Let's stick there. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you know, there could be a lot of things. Yeah. But what I'm getting is that he was telling people, say, you know who you know what to do. Yeah. He yeah. was even saying, I've got a feeling, I think I know what you are going to do. Yeah. Can you imagine? Yeah. The now big the problem on his face. Yes. The problem I've got no problem with a pastor, a priest standing in front of their congregants and talking about load shedding. Yeah. Talking about expensive millimeter. Yeah. I've got no problem with that. I've got a problem. Every I've got a lot of problems with politicians yeah. standing in front in church and making political statements because this is very divisive. Yeah, I mean, if you're a priest, that's why I was talking about the bishop, the way he behaved. You know, it shows that these people are highly trained. Mm. There's a way in which you talk. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. so that you are not liable. Yeah. Now these politicians, <clears throat> they can be sensational. Mm. So you can imagine in this same church, there are people who. Don't support you, uh, PF. Yeah, they, they they probably love UPND. UPND. Yes. Yeah. So what do you think they are feeling when you are when you are saying such thing? Yeah. If you are talking about load shedding, it's affecting everyone. UPND cadres they are affected mm -hmm. by load shedding. Mm -hmm. If you are talking about unga, unga no same good be shop your UPND. Mm -hmm. So that's understandable. Those are social issues. Mm -hmm. But if you start spreading political propaganda on the pulpit, mm -hmm. <clears throat> I've got a problem with that. Offering strange fire before the Lord. Yeah. Oh, that was a good show. Yeah, but thanks to the UPND, they are the ones who are giving, who are handing this to 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 these to, politicians. Yeah, yeah. Opportunities for them yes, to blaspheme yes. the Lord. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't say that. <laughs> they are the ones who are giving these guys wings. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what do you think about the show? It was good. Good show. Yeah. Have you good. had your feel? I know last time you talked about how it was. It felt a little short. Mm -hmm. Ah no, this is enough. It was. <laughs> they were already warning me there. <laughs> two, two minutes. <laughs> yeah. yeah, this yeah. Is enough. If you're not subscribed, please do subscribe. Hit that bell and share. If you find the show interesting, then we would like you to be a part of what we're doing here by your subscriptions, your comments, your shares, your views. We're so appreciative of every new subscriber, every new viewer, and if you're watching. Amazing Minds for the first time. We hope that this was uh, amazing indeed. And we also do hope that if you're not watching this for the first time, that the video you watched last time was definitely not as good as this one. And the next one would definitely be better than this one. Yeah. So Monday's political discussions, Wednesday's are educative, and Friday's Bible talks. So we'll see you on the next one. Ah, uh, chikarich. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> bye for now. <laughs> bye bye. Hey, like what you see? I know you do. Hit the button below to subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell. Ciao.